Hi, so good afternoon everyone. Um, welcome to our prayer convergence and I believe that we are all excited to listen to God's word to us tonight, uh, today rather, subong hapon, and I pray gid no nga may message gid si Lord para sa aton. So before we start, uh, let us all come together in prayer. Yes, Heavenly Father, Lord God, thank you for this time, Lord, nga makakam kami into your presence, good Lord, and thank you, good Lord, for your everyday nga guidance sa Lord, for your everyday nga faithfulness sa Lord, and Lord, I ask for forgiveness, Lord, for all the sins that we've committed, Father God. I pray, Lord, that gaan mo kami sang repentant heart, gaan mo kami sang heart that seeks your word, Father. And grant us protection, Lord, to, today, Lord, as we listen to your word, Lord, give us a heart that responds to it, Lord. And Lord, kabay pa, Lord, nga, no work of the enemy will prosper, good Lord, subong, Lord, and that whatever you plant, subong, Lord, hindi pagwaon sa enemy, Lord. And nga makaptan siya namun, Lord, kag maplay sa mo niya life, Lord. So be, be praised, Lord, be glorified, and be magnified, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, by the power of the Holy Spirit.
akong ibang itataas Kung hindi ikaw, Panginoon Wala akong ibang sasambahin Nang oras ko at panahon Dahil ikaw ang nagbigay Sa amin ng walang hanggang buhay Karapat dapat ka sa aming pagsamba Sa kapangyarihan mo kami ngayon na mamangha At ang scripture text is found at Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 so if you have your Bibles uh, i-open na siya and let us read um, and I am certain that God who began the good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns so what I really love about this verse is within it there is God's promise of sanctification so when we are in Christ and when we are with God and we are under his wings sure good niya God is working in us to make us better and to prepare us para magamit niya man tadayon. So, within this verse lies God's promise of sanctification. So, there are moments in our life no, that we struggle. Um, we feel like, 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 natakay Lord because gaka ba siya ganta, gaka disappoint siya every day of our lives. Moments like we feel like we, we have failed God. That we struggle with sin, with unbelief, with our flesh. But, We have to remind ourselves no that we are it is within it is in our flesh gid nya gamakasalakta and God is not surprised nya nobrata na siya that in itself is already proof of God's good work in us because if we are not struggling with sin we are not we are now not struggling with unbelief with the, our flesh kag ginaallow ta lang siya to govern our life we don't struggle against it then it makita ta gid nya wala si God sa aton so that is already proof of God's good work in us. And during those moments, during those trials in our life, God has not abandoned us in that difficult time. Even in our inability to obey all He has called us to do, He still continues to provide His grace. So, we see that in every failure, God provide la yun si Lord sa grace niya. Ako na inamian, yung kusang verse sa Lamentations niya, His, His mercies are new every morning. Because no matter how many times you fall down, no matter how many times you fail, patindugon kagid sa grace ni Lord, 
And those little struggles nga gina experience ta in our life, God will use that to God will use that for our betterment. Kung sa Genesis pa is whatever Satan intended for evil, God meant it for good. So in that way man no, abita ang aton nga struggles is gonna condemn us to hell. But God will use that and turn that into something nga magamit ta so that we could be better. So in a way, ang isa na siya sa sanctifying grace ni Lord. Ang aton conscience, ang aton niya, may mga times nga grabe kitang konsensya ta when we sin against God. That already in itself is grace and evidence of the good work nga ginsugodan ni Lord. However, in order for the for the grace of God or rather, in order for God to use those struggles to finish his good work, we must always go back to his throne of grace. So it doesn't mean yung aga struggle ka ina-sanctify ka na din ni Lord. You also have to go back sa throne of grace ni Lord. You also have to go back under His feet para, ma- para magamit ng struggles mo. Because if we let those struggles overcome us, eventually, badula si Lord sa ton. And instead niya masanctify ta, we become of the world. So, we we also have to remind ourselves bala nga, nga to come to always come confidently sa throne of grace ni Lord with a repentant heart and there are also moments in our life nga kabaluta sa laton ginobra kabaluta nga nakasalat against kay Lord kabalo ang mind ta but ang heart ta wala just pray to God tambala lang si Lord nga Lord give me a repentant heart give me a heart that responds to you give me a heart that feels for you that knows Lord nga sala ang ginobra ko Lord and it is not as it is not something uh, discouragement dapat sa ton, but rather something that will draw us closer to God. Those struggles na ton. So, if you have truly been converted, if you are truly a Christian, no matter what you did, you will always find yourself back at His feet. Because you will realize how empty the world is even when nag-give in ka sa flesh mo. After mo na nag-give in, you will really see how empty the, the world is, how empty the satisfaction yung ginhatag yasi mo. And in fact, wala siya satisfaction at all. So, you will always go back to God and you will always find yourself asking for His forgiveness if you have truly been converted. So, wala, if we turn our Bibles to Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26, Ang hambali Lord, Then I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. Your filth will be washed away and you will no longer worship idols. I will give you a new heart and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out take out your heart of stone and give you a tender, responsive heart. And I will put my spirit in you so that you will follow my decrees and be careful to obey my, my regulations. So, si Lord, whenever kita ginsave ta ni Lord, so God does not regret saving us and Si Lord, kung gin-save niya ta, hindi niya lang ta napapabayaan niya, or sa kaigoan, hindi niya napapabayaan niya, sinful, tagyapon. He will sprinkle clean water sa ton, and he will and we will be clean. Ang kung sa verse pa, then I will sprinkle clean waters in you, I, uh, on you, and you will be clean. You will be clean. So promise na ni Lord sa ton niya, eventually, if we continue to abide by Him, we will eventually be clean. Be clean, rather. Sorry. So, man, no, let, let's not be discouraged by our struggles, by our doubts, because it's always part of our human nature to doubt God, to struggle against sin, to struggle against flesh, to to not rely on the Lord, nga hindi magpray. It is human nature, but we have to deny that and instead rely on the grace that God has given to us. So, I want to say that in this verse, because Hambali ni Paul, I am certain that God who began the good work within you will continue His work until it is finally finished. So, hindi na, pag, hindi na pagutata ni Lord hasta hindi na niya matapos ang good work. So, there pa lang ma-assure na ta that if we are truly with Christ, we will eventually become the best version of ourselves. We will eventually become who God intended us to be. Hindi na pagbabayan ni Lord niya nga alat ata sa kaigoan, kwa o kita na. So, the, the next is, God's sanctification will always break you. Because si, si Lord, hindi na siya, hindi na siya gagamit sa people nga proud, 
nga complete in and of themselves God uses the broken the, the broken as his vessels so siya First, in order for God to use you, God will have to break you. And ang sanctification na ni Lord, amuna siya ang mag-break actually si mo. Because in that breaking, makakas ang imong idols, makakas ang imo self-reliance, makakas imo nga proud, uh, sorry, pride rather. And God, and using that brokenness, God will then display His glory. May, may na ganito, nakita ko nga, why is it that God uses broken people, broken vessels, no? God uses broken vessels because first they recognize their need for God. So, so ako, uh, na-realize ko sa self ko that, di ba ko kay Lord nga? nga Lord nga akasakit, Lord how? Lord nga, nga amunin ka ka-experience ko sa life. Nga, uh, nga it's all pain, Lord. It's all, it's all disappointment. Then, yan balsa ang balang sa akin ni Lord. Because you need me. I want to show you that you need me. And, Maybe that was the day gid nga tutod ko nga nabaton si Jesus sa online life. Then na realize ko nga just on my own this is not something that I could do. But with Jesus I found peace, I found joy, I found the love that I've been looking for and I found that sense of purpose. The next reason that God uses the broken people is because broken people best displays God's grace because Muna yun, may ako nakita nga, nga uh, ang mga pinaka-broken niya people, ang muna silang pinaka-devoted kay God. Because nakita na nila, ang grace ni Lord, nga ginhatag, ang ginhatag ni Lord nga grace sa ila. So, they best display the grace of God. So, that's why nga, nga before ta ginagamit ni Lord, ginabreak niya ta danay, pamaagis ang iyang sanctification. So, ang muna ganyan, imambal, tanga aton niya struggles in life. At the struggles in life, God uses those struggles to break us in order to build us up again. We have to be broken first before He can use us. We have we have to be less of ourselves first and more of Him. Because if hindi, ipagwaon ang kita sa aton, wala siya sang butangan sa kung sino siya. So, una, and God breaks us so He can use us. Okay? Because ang, una, ang aton is a kung kita lang on ourselves we are sinful we are dirty we are we are filthy even our own righteousness are just filthy rags kay Lord so ar ginambal man ni ginambal man sa 2 Timothy 2:21 if you keep yourself pure you will be a special utensil for honorable use your life will be clean and you will be ready for the master to use you uh, to use you for everyday good work so una ang ang pagtinlo ni Lord sa aton is sakit nyo process. Sakit-sakit nyo process. Because, sorry. Because He has to clean us first. He has to remove kung sin o tasang una. And sakit din na siya. Ang muna ganyan, mag, mag, ano bala, mag, sa, mag ang potter, bala haw, nga, sak, nga, ginabuhinan, gina, ginamold, and kung may feelings lang ang potter, sakitan din na siya guru. Ah, ang, sorry, ang pot rather, sakitan din na siya guru. That's, that's the same with us. Need ni Lord Jackson, ang ba, ang mga filth sa aton, ang bad nga part sa aton. And it is already ingrained in our flesh mo. Amo na nga sakit siya. Amo na nga struggle ta. But, let us not forget man nga si Lord, let us not forget man nga wala ta bala ginaabandol ni Lord during these struggles. But in fact, He is using these struggles to bring us closer to Him so that He can use us and we, in turn, can be a blessing sa iban. So, muna siya, no, na-realize yung na, ang struggles, tagali, hindi siya bala, hindi siya end of the line, but it's God's sanctifying grace sa ito. Mayroon man na gani, nga ginambal ang isa ka-pastor. Mayroon man na ginambal ang isa ka-pastor, nga nagtatakit sa akin. God does not regret saving you. So, when when God saved us, gin, gin ano na na ni Lord nga, Yes, Gins, I saved you. And I know that you will still fail. You will still fall down. You will still sin against me. You will still follow your flesh uh, sometimes. And God is not surprised. God is not disappointed sa aton sa muna. Because that's why ganyan ipadalay si Jesus. Because He knows we can't do it alone. So let us not be, let us not pity ourselves. Bala nga, let us not indulge in pity parties. Bala nga, ay nakasala ko kay Lord, hindi na lang ko magpalapit kay Lord. But rather, 
Hambala si Lord nga, Lord nakasala ko si mo, Lord, forgive me. Help me have a heart, Lord nga, repentant Lord. Help me have a heart that seeks you, that is guided by you, that that wants to do this for you, Lord. And even if ang heart mo subong layo kay Lord, He will pull it back. But as long as you do the right thing, as long as you abide by Him. And when I let us not really rely on our flesh, but rely on the Spirit ni Lord. Sa ngagin interest, ngagin hatag sa aton. So, misa no, um, recall ko lang ang points. First is, there is always God's promise of sanctifying grace. And that sanctifying grace will break us. Because in order to use us, He has to break us first. And that brokenness should bring us closer to God, not not nga mas layo kay Lord. And and in in our brokenness, it is where we can best display God's grace. So, nay, as a struggling person, I believe wala man gursong wala ga struggle sa ton. God is using our struggles to build us up, to sanctify us, so so that we don't fall in love with the world. Biar ona nakita nga why are there thorns in the world so that we don't fall in love with it. But biar pag ina isa ka pastor nga naghambal nga pain is God's megaphone. So Ngayon, let us instead niya tanawang tang pain as something nga hindi tapalangga ni Lord or ang struggle nga lang tonta as something nga uh, hindi na, as reason nga hindi magpalapit kay Lord. Let us use those instead as reason, as proof of God's promise nga ginasanctify ta, nga ang, nga ang struggles ta and ang problems ta are God's way of sanctifying us. So, we know that is God's word for us to, uh, this afternoon and I believe you know, nga for those struggling out there with sin, with flesh, with doubt, with unbelief, just turn back to God. Ask God for guidance. Ask God for forgiveness. Bala si Lord niya. Nga, Lord, ang heart ko, Lord, layuin si mo, Lord. Lord, ang ako niya. Ako niya, flesh, Lord, ga, ga pinagusto, Lord, gabi, ang temptation, ga gabot sa life ko, Lord, give me the spirit, Lord, tagay ko, Lord, sa spirit, so that I don't walk in the flesh, Lord. Tagay ko, Lord, sa heart niya, ikaw ang ginasik, Lord. Because God will really hear us. For as long as ginaubrata na siya bala para kay Lord, nga makapalapit ta kay Lord, hindi nga magpalayo ta kay Lord. So, muna siya, let's just remind ourselves that God's grace is infinite, hindi ta ma-outsin ang grace ni Lord. So, muna siya, let us always rely on the grace of God in our lives. So, sige. <coughs>
Let us pray. Yes, Heavenly Father, Lord God. Thank you, good Lord, for your word, Lord, today, Lord. Thank you, good for for your everyday grace, Lord. Um, thank you, Lord, nga arakagid always summon side, Lord. And Father, thank you for reminding us nga you will always forgive us for as long as we we come to you, Lord, in prayer. Mga forgiveness mo, Lord. And I pray, Father, that you will give us a repentant heart, a heart that truly seeks you, a heart that is guided by you. Because, Lord, <coughs> because, I, because, Lord, apart from you, Lord, wala gi kami, Lord. And if we only follow our flesh, Lord, ma, makuala kami ni Satan. But hold us, Lord, sa imong mga kamot, Lord, and give us that peace and love, Lord, that will move us, Lord, to come closer to you, Lord. Because, Lord, hindi kami makapalapit lang, Lord, sa imo, Lord, nga kami-kami lang amon flesh, Lord. We need you, Lord. Hinala ka namun, Lord, to we need you, Lord, to grab us, Lord, yung magpalapit si mo, Lord, because there are moments in our life, Lord, nga kami mismo gambal na, Lord, nga hindi na kami gusto magpalapit si mo. But, Lord, buto nga kami, Lord. Tag on our conscience, Lord, ang bala kami nga. Pray, 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 Lord. Remind us always nga, without you, good Lord, wala agig kami, Lord. So, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will grant these prayers of ours, Lord, and I pray, Lord, nga, nga makawa kami, Lord, spirit, Lord, you will give us that spirit, to teach us what we need to learn about you, Lord, and to always rely on you, to always pray to you, Father God. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that your favor will always be upon us. So, be praised, Lord, be glorified, be magnified, Lord. And in Jesus' name we pray, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.